A shapefile, regardless of whether it's a boundary, feature line or prescription map, will actually be made up of three separate files, a DBF, an SHP and an SHX file. When a shapefile is supplied by a third party, such as, as an agronomist, it will most likely be given to us on a USB drive with these three separate files. These files only create the map. There is no grower, farm or field associated with these files. So when we bring them into the display, we have to assign them to an existing grower, farm and field. To use these files in our display, we need to create a new folder called shapefile on this USB drive, then drop these files into this new shapefile folder. It's best to request your agronomist set it up this way if you won't have access to a computer out in the field. After confirming all three shapefiles are sitting in the folder titled shapefile on the USB drive, then you will have to remove the display's existing USB drive and insert this USB, then turn the key on. Within about a minute after the display powers up, you should see a message pop up on the screen confirming that the shapefiles have been copied into the display's internal memory. Since we don't have any associated field data on this USB drive, turn the key off again and swap the original USB drive back into the display after it powers down. Once the display's original USB is reinserted, then switch the key back on again. After the display powers back up, go to the data management and then import to tab. Select shape file as your data source, then select prescription as your data type. Make sure you have the correct field selected to drop this prescription map into. It will already be pre-populated with the last field you selected in your grower farm and field setup, but it can also be changed here. Next, tap on the prescription window to select the file that we have just imported. You should now see your prescription map sitting in the map window. You'll have to link this prescription to a product form or type. In this case, it's granular. We then have to select the default application rate and units. You'll need to set the units before you can edit the rate. Once this is done, tap on the import soft key in the top right hand corner of the display. A window will then pop up allowing you to rename this file you are bringing into the display. This will be the name you use or you see when selecting this prescription for use in the display. You then have to select what data type you want it brought in as. If you are using it with an ISOBUS implement through the task controller, you'll need to bring it in as a task data prescription. If you are using it with a non ISOBUS implement, then select CN1 prescription. You also have the option to bring it in as both. After the file has been imported, an import successful message will appear confirming the import. If you have imported multiple shape files on the original USB stick, you will have to repeat this import and association process for each of these maps. You will need to cycle power to the display before you can use the prescription. This can be done with the restart button on this window. When this prescription map was imported into the display's precision farming software, in addition to assigning it to a field, there was also a new task created at the same time. You will have to select this task before you will be able to select the prescription map. If you have just imported the map, then it will be the last one on the list. The prescription map should then be available for use once you have selected the correct grower, farm and field and task.